Hi, and welcome back to the last day of Apex 24, the Keith Bryant Show. I'm here with Jim from Neotech. So welcome, Jim. Um, uh, Keith, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Um, I, I guess the first easy question, tell me what do you consider the mission of Neotech to be? Well, tomorrow is actually our 50th anniversary. So we've been doing this a long time. Uh, from the inception of the business, our, our, our goal is to truly partner with our customers. Um, to be as efficient and, and to really design and build their innovations to the marketplace. Uh, we use um, our culture is a little bit different than a lot of the companies that are out there. We are like a tier one. We have all the tier one tools, all the automation, but we're small enough still, even though we're, we have scale, to really understand our customers, to work closely with them. So uh, our mission is to not only work with our customers, but to help, especially on the defense side, to improve global stability. So that's what we're trying to do. Yes. So it's, it's not only flexibility, it's really more partnership. It is, it, it's working very closely at the design stage. And I think this is what differentiates Neotech from a lot of the other companies. It's just not designed for manufacturing, it's really designed for excellence. We take the time upfront to really understand and work the supply chain, the design itself, the engineering pieces, the test all the way through the assembly with our customers. So when we deliver something, there is no quality issue. Um, so it's incredibly high reliability, it's, it's on time, and we do what we say. To get back to your culture point, the company is really committed to achieving their goals. And, and it's just a great organization with great people. So, I mean, there are a lot of EMS companies, they talk about design for manufacture, and they work with their suppliers to make, uh, sorry, with their customers to make sure that they can build the boards easily. And then you have design for test, which is like the next level to make sure that you can test them. And you guys are basically doing the whole encompassed design for everything to make sure that it's the best that it can be. Yes, that's exactly right. And with a global footprint, taking those lessons learned, the continuous improvements, and applying them throughout, not just the US, but our Mexico or China facilities, both on the A&D side and industrial and medical. All those lessons learned and those innovations and the design for excellence really enables the entire company you know, to do well and to work well with our customers. Okay, um, first comment. You, you, you were a small company, but you have uh, manufacturing in three countries. We do. We actually have um, 1.3 million square feet of manufacturing uh, capability. Um, again, we we does the business is separated. Um, obviously, our U.S. defense business is here in the U.S., but our industrial and medical side, a lot of the innovation that comes from those very quick turn um, new designs, we're able to incorporate onto some of the other high reliable products. So uh, we're in Mexico. We have several facilities there. We have some facilities in China. And again, here throughout the U.S., yep. Okay, and do you have like a senior design for excellence team or does each of your regions have a design for excellence group? So they all have innovation centers within them, but we do have a very unique group um, up in Chicago that's our engineering center of excellence. And we try to funnel that, that talent throughout the business. from the, the prototype through to the pre-production into the production, or do you just share that around between the sites? Uh, we do share it around between the sites, um, but the sites have a lot of innovation, and innovation really comes from the floor, right? Really comes from the people that are touching products, that see ways to improve, um, and we empower them. I think, again, to go back to what's really important is the culture. We empower our people. If they find a way to improve, we take that lesson learned, we, we institutionalize it and we try to get that out to all of the divisions, irrespective of what segment in the market that they're in. So you're really, really building strong relationships with your customers. I think that's critical today, yeah. right? Um, in any business, if you're not close to your customer, you don't understand their needs. Um, the military needs are, are different than the medical needs, but they all need good communication. Yep. Good relationships. Yeah, and I, I and I, I heard what you just said, but you you're not really you're you're kind of selling yourselves a little bit short, because it's not their needs. You're actually helping them develop their products and making everything better. So that's like 
a, a, a level above for me. I, we're going to put that on the website. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. I, I, I won't trademark it or anything. You're welcome to use it. And uh, it's been really good to hear about somebody who's really working closely with customers, but also trying to, to, to also see the big picture rather than working for the customers to their advantage. Oh, Keith, that's great. And it's been a pleasure. No, oh, thank Thanks you for, for coming me. in and sharing with us. All right. Have a great day. Thanks, Jim. The Arch FX manufacturing platform. Processing over a trillion data points each month. Bringing value to every level of your organization. That's Manufacturing Insights for tomorrow. Why do something three times when you can do it only once? Using N1 Pass technology, BTU's new Profile Tracer is a next-generation thermal profiling tool, providing real-time data acquisition for oven optimization. It identifies inconsistencies due to temperature variables at both the product level and the heat source. Profile Tracer measures dual temperature locations as well as vibration, all in one pass, giving you time to attend the more important things in life.